What we want to avoid here is, is jamming the back of the leg like this. Once you do that, you cannot be in the hip flexor. So we want to use this relaxed position to find what we need to do in a seated forward bend. We need to spread the toes. Every time we breathe out, we do three things. We spread the toes. Squeeze the belt in the groin. And we send the leg in two directions. Down to the earth with the thigh and all from the back of the knee into the toe. Do not yank again, right? Spine relaxes on the floor. Eventually the leg does straighten, but it's only because of this window effect in the back of the knee. And this is for every forward bend in yoga. So if you learn this, it really relaxes that lower back into the core, right? Seated forward bend requires the release of profound startle reflex tension in the pelvis. And so it really is helpful to team it with some breath work, really relaxing, organic. Once you gain mastery over the seated forward bend, once you can really move the legs without tugging on the lower back, all of the other yoga poses open up for you. And I know it in my own experience. 